How to change normal photos into high fashion natural looking in Photoshop. Hey what's up guys, in this tutorial I will show the quickest way to smooth skin like magazine style finish. There are variety of ways to make skin look smooth and bright using Adobe Photoshop. Some methods are quick and easy, while others require a little more care and attention. Here I will give you step by step instructions that will help you handle most skin retouching circumstances. For this tutorial I am using straight out of camera female portrait which was shot with Canon EOS 50D camera. If you need a photo to practice on, you could download this one from the link given in the description. Firstly open your image in Photoshop. Press Ctrl plus J on Windows or Command plus J on Mac to create a duplicate of this layer. With your new background copy layer selected, right click and click convert to smart object. Next, click on the filter menu to find the other option and then select high pause to open the high pause dialog box. Make sure that the preview box is checked. Zoom out of the preview image to see the whole thing if you need to. If we increase the radius value, you will notice halos starting to appear around the edges. That's our key hint. Adjust the radius until the halos to see. In this case, I will set the radius value between 25 to 30 pixels. Click OK to apply the high pause effect. Now create a new layer from all the visible layers by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E. We want to invert this layer, so Ctrl plus I on Windows or Command plus I on Mac to do so. Or simply go to Image menu, Adjustments, Select Invert. With your new layer selected, change its blending mode to overlay. Add inverted layer mask, hold alt key and click the add vector mask button to add an inverted mask. With this black inverted mask layer selected, use a soft white brush and paint on the skin to bring back the skin smoothing effect. Then hide the background copy layer to see the result before and after. For a natural effect, you will also want to keep quite a lot of the face natural details in there such as fine lines. To do that open high pass filter again and lower the radius to 2 to 3 pixels. and change its blending to overlay. This method will allow you to retain those details while providing an attractive glow to the skin. Now for a truly professional magazine style finish, we need to apply color grading. I will use color lookup image adjustment to apply a color scheme. Now you can select any one from your list. I will try crisp winter loot and change its blending mode to soft light to add contrast. Again I will add another color lookup but this time let's select soft warming loot and change its blending to color. Finally I want to spend some extra time to whiten teeth, enhance eyes and add some red color to lips. 
Go to adjustments and select solid white color. Double click the color fill layer to open the blending options window. Hold the alt key and drag the black slider. By doing this we will partially hide the gray portions and achieve a better blending with the teeth. Now make sure the mask on your color fill layer is selected and then invert the mask. Grab soft white brush and paint on the teeth to lighten them. Lower the opacity to your preference. Now add hue and saturation adjustment. Enable colorize option. Select hue saturation mask and invert it. Grab soft white brush and paint on the lips. Start brushing on her lips slowly. You need to brush very accurately for the best result and for accuracy. I suggest you to zoom in a lot. Adjust hue, saturation and lightness to your liking. Change its blending mode to soft light. Reduce opacity if you want to minimize the color. To brighten and enhance eyes, add a new blank layer. Take soft white brush and paint below the iris. Go to blur menu, apply Gaussian blur. Choose a blue radius that makes the edges smooth and soft. Then change its blending mode to overlay. Reduce layer opacity to your preference. And we are done. Here is the final image. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. 
You can download this tutorial PSD file from my website photoshopdesire.com for free. If PS Desire has helped you learn or improve in Photoshop, support me on patreon.com slash PS Desire. See you again in next tutorial. Take care.